We talk a lot on this channel about viewing your home as an investment and luxury homes are no exception. So what I wanna do in this video is explore those key factors you need to be mindful of when you're buying a luxury home. And then I wanna take you on a tour of some of the most beautiful luxury hotspots in all of Dallas. Well, hello, hello, this is Wendy Pinnell. And when you're in the luxury home market, obviously you want beauty, you want opulence, but you also want an asset that's going up in value. The stakes are even higher in luxury real estate because if you end up upside down it could be in the hundreds of thousands instead of tens of thousands so let's walk through some key criteria here and then we're going to go take a look first off let's talk about location because location is even more critical than it is in lower priced homes. One of your top priorities should be to find a community that boasts a median sales price that's close to your price rate. You do not want to be on the high end of the median sales price. What you're looking for here is ensuring that there are homes even more luxurious than yours within the area. You want nicer homes bringing your home up in value. Next, consider the value proposition of the neighborhood. There should be something uniquely desirable about the area that sets it apart from others. And this could be, it could be like a stunning view or proximity, you know, to like high-end amenities. It could be like access to like recreational facilities, right? But whatever it is, make sure it adds desirability to the home you're considering. Another important factor is the proximity to transportation hubs, okay? We're talking like the airport here. You want an area free of traffic and urban noise, and yet you don't wanna have a super lengthy commute to the airport, okay? You wanna avoid busy roads, noisy intersections, while being reasonably close to the airport, okay? So striking a balance between accessibility and privacy is what you're after here. Now let's talk about uniformity because this is extremely important. You wanna opt for a property that's nestled within a quiet, upscale neighborhood where the surrounding properties are either as nice or even nicer than yours. Now this is a really key factor because luxury properties tend to lend themselves to being built in custom neighborhoods. The difference here, and one that's important to know, is with most neighborhoods, there's one main developer overseeing all of the construction. But within the custom neighborhood, each homeowner hires their own builder and picks out their own floor plan. Many times, custom-built neighborhoods have rigorous construction guidelines, and the result is a stunning luxury community. But just as many times, you will find some fabulous luxury homes sprinkled in with small homes, old homes, okay, basically non-luxurious homes, all on the same street, okay? So beware the custom neighborhood. Now, you're likely going to run into them in your luxury home search, and honestly, they are probably gonna bring you some of your most fabulous options. Just always be keeping in mind how important uniformity and cohesion are. Okay, remember the goal is to have just as nice or nicer homes bringing your home up in value. Now let's talk about the property itself. The ideal luxury home is gonna either be surrounded by trees and acreage for that serene private feel or it might have that smaller lot line, but be accentuated by elegant upscale amenities. And I think of features like state-of-the-art fitness centers, resort-style pools, or even private golf courses. Remember, there are far fewer luxury home buyers out there, okay? You're talking about a much smaller pool of potential buyers at some point down the road when you wanna sell. So both for yourself and your own enjoyment, as well as future buyers, okay? You want your property to offer more than just the home. Also, pay attention to the local school district. A great school district is not only crucial for families with children, but it's also important for maintaining property values. High quality schools are going to attract high quality buyers. So by now you're probably like, Wendy, you know what? You've described a pretty picture perfect scenario here. Does that actually exist in Dallas? Well, yes, yes it does, and one of the first places you'll find it is in South Lake. All right, so let me tell you why South Lake might be an excellent choice for you. South Lake is located in Tarrant County, just south of Grapevine Lake. Heading into South Lake, 
we find ourselves a bustling little suburb with a country feel that is an excellent choice for buying a luxury home. Okay, here you're gonna find an average sales price of 1.5 million. Now if you got your shopping cart out and you're ready to go, you're gonna find around 40 homes to choose from here within that like one to two million dollar price range. You will find homes priced as high as 7.8 million also in South Lake. Remember how I said the ideal luxury home is gonna either be surrounded by trees and acreage or have a smaller lot with elegant amenities? Well, you can find both of those styles in South Lake. It isn't all that big of a suburb, but you can still find gorgeous rural neighborhoods on huge oversized lots. Then you can drive five minutes down the road and find luxury master subdivisions with elegant amenities. I mean, you truly have a lot of choices for the ideal luxury home. Now, South Lake has some absolutely gorgeous parks, excellent green space, and plenty of shopping within the city. It has a hop in town center with upscale stores, lots of restaurant options. I mean, there's versatility here. Although you should know there is also gonna be some traffic because it has all those shopping options. One of the best parts about South Lake for travelers is its location. It's just a 10 minute commute to the airport. So you can find nice, quiet neighborhoods and still only be 10 minutes from that business trip, right? Plus the local schools are top notch, okay? Carroll ISD earned an A rating from Texas Education Agency. In fact, 100% of the schools in South Lake are rated at least an eight out of 10, and 100% of students perform above average. So we're definitely, you know, checking off all the boxes here. All right, let's talk about some of their top neighborhoods, okay? Let's talk about Carillon and Kirkwood Hollow. Okay, Carillon boasts an average sales price of 1,453,517, and it has its homes average right around like $345 per square foot, sitting on almost one quarter acre lots. Now on average, the homes were built around 2014 and are around like 4,174 square foot. The neighborhood really does feature stunning architecture, okay? Then you have like these amazing parks that are all around it, right? Their Enclave Park has a beautiful fountain and pond and all these weaving walking trails. They also have their Villa Park South and Villa Park North, and you have all these paved walking trails again. They also have their Oasis at Carillon, okay? So this master plan subdivision really offers an upscale elite environment. Now, on the other hand, Kirkwood Hollow offers a slightly different vibe, okay, with an average sales price of 1,249,000. Now, homes here are selling at $283 per square foot, and they're gonna be situated on like half acre lots. So a little bit more of a spread out feel, okay? The homes were built around 2000, so a little bit older, and the average size is 4,399 square feet. So what makes Kirkwood Hollow a top neighborhood. Well, it's the perfect blend of elegant architecture and oversized yards, okay? It's a nice place where you can go to get the best of both worlds. Now, in these two communities, you get that uniform cohesion that really just makes like driving through them a visual feast. Now, let's head east and slightly north because I want to show you Lucas. All right, so let me tell you why Lucas might be an excellent choice for you. Lucas is a small community surrounded by green space and nestled up right next to Lake Levon. Now, if we view this from an investment lens, let's start off by talking about the numbers and see if it meets our criteria there. Okay, remember how I said, we wanna look for that high, median, and average sales price. Well, the average sales price of a home in Lucas right now is 974,992. So if you're buying, you know, in that low million to two million price range, this is a good fit. You can expect there to be nicer homes out there that will bring your home up in value. Now, selection wise, again, if you got your shopping cart, you're ready to hit the ground running, okay? If you're looking in that one to two million dollar price range, you'll have 33 homes to choose from. So what are those homes like? And what is Lucas like? Well, you'll find Lucas just west of Allen. So first of all, it's not that far from the action, but it has a rural feel with huge trees and oversized lots. Now, unlike South Lake, which offered both, Lucas is primarily going to bring you trees and acreage. So when you think of Lucas, 
Think of a private, quiet, country feeling that is completely unlike the crowded traffic you're gonna run into elsewhere in Dallas, all right? If you look at closed sales, you're gonna find every single one of them have acreage. Now, Lucas has a small population and a low population density, so you're not gonna have a lot of traffic, okay? It's not a commercial hub. You're not gonna find shopping malls or tons of upscale restaurants, right? But in terms of accessibility, it's 10 to 15 minutes from shopping. So even though it doesn't have shopping within the city itself, like South Lake does, it still has shopping reasonably close. Now, if you travel a lot, you know, maybe with work or just because you like to travel, right? The commute time from Lucas to the airport is around 35 minutes. So if you primarily work from home and travel occasionally with work, okay, Lucas could be a reasonable good fit for you. Now, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know we're gonna talk about schools again, right? Because schools are so important for property values. All right, so let's talk about that. Lucas ISD has been given an A rating by the Texas Education Agency, and the schools have received outstanding ratings on greatschools.org. In fact, 100% of the schools in Lucas are rated nine out of 10, and they boast all above average student performance. So good schools, good access to shopping in the airport. Now let's talk about some of those top neighborhoods. Well, both Rockland Farms and Forest Creek Estates are outstanding. Okay, so what do I love about these neighborhoods? Well, I love the oversized lots with mature trees. I love that the homes are set back from the street. In general, I just, I love that privacy, okay? Also, you see both individuality and uniformity in both of these neighborhoods, okay? You can tell they're not even remotely cookie cutter copies of each other, and yet there's a strong enough level of uniformity that they're gonna keep those high property values. Now, if you wanted to buy a home in Rockland Farms, you could expect to spend around 1.8 million at an average of $334 per square foot. Now, for that amount, you're gonna get just under two acres of land with a home built around 2013. You're gonna get on average 5,557 square foot. Now, in our second top neighborhood, Forest Creek Estates, you could expect to spend around $348 a square foot. 1.6 million will bring you 2.3 acres with a somewhat older home. Okay, it's gonna be built around 2003. You could expect around 4,663 square foot. While we're in the southern side of Collin County, let's talk about another great option you have in Parker. Now, Parker isn't particularly well known, but just like Lucas, anyone that's heard of Parker is going to think about luxury living, okay? That's just what's gonna come to mind. Your average sales price is 1,102,000, and I would say Parker is definitely worth considering if you're in the market for a luxury home. Now, Parker and Lucas are very similar and having a quiet rural feel. And I'm guessing, okay, you're probably wondering about the commute, right? Because you don't wanna spend hours in traffic. Well, honestly, in Parker, it's not that bad, okay? The commute time from Parker to the airport is just 33 minutes. So you're again striking that balance, right? You can enjoy the privacy and rural feeling of Parker while still being, you know, well connected to your major transportation hub, okay? Now, between Lucas and Parker, with Parker, you're even closer to shopping in the airport. And of course, okay, we can't forget about schools, right? We've gotta talk about schools, okay. Parker is served by Allen ISD, which has been given an A rating by the Texas Education Agency. Now, the schools here have received excellent ratings on greatschools.org. In fact, 80% of the schools in Parker, okay, are rated eight out of 10, and 83% of students perform above average. So, you know, again, whether you have kids or you just want to invest in a community that has those strong school ratings, Parker's a fantastic choice, okay? The school ratings, they're not quite as good as Lucas, but they are still very good. All right, let's talk about our top neighborhoods. Parker has some really amazing options like Spring Hill Estates and Brooks Farm. And we're gonna find a setting here very much like Lucas, okay? Homes are set far back off the street with oversized lots and a sense of uniformity among the homes, okay? Your vibe here is gonna be privacy and serenity, okay? It's like, it's like you don't go to a common area park and stroll around Instead, you stroll around on your own acreage. Now, if you wanted to buy in Spring Hill Estates, this could be a slightly more affordable option with a sales price of 940,500. Now, homes are selling here 
at an average of $231 per square foot, okay? You'll end up with just over an acre in an older home, okay? It's gonna be built on average in 1998. Now, on average, you'll have around 3,897 square feet. Now, Brooks Farm, you're gonna find a more affluent option. Your sales price here averages out at just above 1.6 million. You'll pay around $279 per square foot and have right around 1.1 acres. Your homes are going to be newer, okay? Built on average in 2010, and you'll have 5,588 square feet. Still in Collin County, let's head north and explore a different style of luxury home in Prosper. Now, Prosper has a lot of charm and a lot to offer. It's different from Lucas and Parker in that it's growing explosively fast. In Parker and Lucas, okay, we saw more of a like, it's kind of stable, like, you know, what you see is what you get, right, kind of community. Well, Prosper isn't like that. Okay, it's growing very, very quickly, and it's known for its opulence. Okay, the common trend, if you will, is that when residents have had just enough of Frisco, okay, as well as a generous amount of Frisco equity in their homes, they head off to Prosper for a more affluent option. So if you were to compare Prosper to South Lake, Prosper has those luxurious subdivisions with upscale amenities just like South Lake does, but it's growing very quickly, which South Lake isn't. Your average sales price in Prosper is $856,282, and you're looking at a 31 minute commute to the airport. Now, once again, you have top rated schools, though they aren't as highly rated as what we saw with Lucas and Parker. Prosper has an A rating from the TEA, Gray Schools reports that 67% of schools score above average and 92% of their students score above average. Prosper has a share of tropical glamour here. They have their Windsong Ranch with its sparkling blue water and white sand beach. I mean, it is possibly the best known subdivision here in Prosper. And the concept of beach life in Dallas kind of put it on the map, so to speak. But if I'm looking for all of the items on our luxury home list, I'm going to call Star Trail one of our top neighborhoods. Now, unlike Lucas and Parker, it's going to have those smaller lots, but they are accentuated by luxurious and elite amenities. It has a beautiful tree-lined entrance, just miles of paved trails, community center, outdoor lounge, um, it has a sunning pool, a leisure pool. Oh, it also has lighted tennis and pickleball courts. It has all of this in a respectable median sales price of $1,114,000. With Star Trail, you'll really see differences from Lucas and Parker. All right, in those towns, we saw custom built homes that still had enough similarities to bring cohesion to the neighborhood. Now, Star Trail, on the other hand, was created by one developer, and I really like the style he used because, again, we see both uniformity as well as individuality. The homes in Star Trail, they have beautiful arches and peaks, and yet at the same time, they're like all different styles, all different brick colors. So that brings in both the uniformity and the diversity. Many luxury home buyers are gonna insist on that, and you should too. Overall, it's a very elegant neighborhood that offers the perfect balance between cohesiveness and uniqueness. So if you're looking for a luxury home with a distinct style that has more elegance and less acreage, Prosper could be a great fit for you. Whereas the acreage and mature trees were breathtaking in Parker and Lucas, it's the elegance and architecture that are breathtaking here. And then you have South Lake, which offers both styles. You have your rural oversized lots with towering trees, as well as elegant homes with smaller lots, but upscale amenities. Now I can just hear the savvy among you saying, you know what, Wendy, this is awesome. Now I know where to buy, but how can I make sure I get the best possible price? Well, lucky for you, I made an entire video about buying strategically, making sure you're viewing your home as an investment and getting the best possible price. If you're interested in that video, you can watch it right here. In the meantime, Wendy out.